What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andri and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And uh, for today's video guys, I have uh, several news. Uh, I will show you, I will make an announcement of the upcoming uh, space call with George Palikoras uh, and uh, you will be able to ask him several very important questions uh, in regards to MMAT and MMTLP cases. Then I will continue with an update uh, of our major achievements and uh, I will show you in details a very good and precise summary of uh, these actions. Then I will show you how FINRA misled uh, the retail community and uh, how they violate uh, their own rules. And at the end of this video I will uh, share my personal story. And guys, I highly encourage you to watch this video till the very end, because it is uh, really important for me personally. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. It is the easiest way how we can push this case forward to the broader audience. And the more people know about our problem, the more likely we will solve for this issue in our favor. That is why just hit the like button. So, let's start with the news itself. Uh, let me show you this tweet that was uh, published uh, uh, just several hours ago uh, by Junk Savvy. And she wrote, Meta has mount up. You have been asking? Well, here it is. This Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Join George Palikoras, uh, Curtis, Junk Savvy, and Whiskey, and more for all things MMAT. The vote, delusion, the board, oh my. Questions, drop them in the chat below. For reference, the two issues shareholders will be voting on Monday, April 15, 2024. 1. To approve an amendment uh, to our amended and restated articles of incorporation as amended to increase the total number of authorized shares of common stock from 10 million uh, shares to 250 million shares, the authorized shares share increase proposal. 2. To approve the adjournment uh, of the special meeting to a later date for dates, if necessary, to permit further solicitation of proxies in the event there are not sufficient votes in favor of the authorized shares increase proposal. And guys, this uh, space call uh, will be dedicated to the MMAT uh, current issues, but definitely, with the presence of George Palikers uh, on this space call, we might find out uh, some details in regards to MMTLP case. And on top of that, uh, you know that MMAT uh, is still uh, tied up together with MMTLP and with the entire uh, Next Bridge Hydrocarbons saga. And this means uh, definitely, I think, uh, this uh, space call worth your attention. And guys, let me show you that uh, if you click on this uh, link, uh, you can uh, see that this post is unavailable. And this happened uh, because of the changes uh, in uh, hours, corrected time. Joanna, our Intel, wrote this six hours ago. Corrected time. MMAT shareholders, let's uh, talk vote Sunday, uh, April 14th at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. Join Polychorus, BitBlue, Junk, Savvy and Whisker and others to discuss the vote delusion and everything, MMAT. Post your questions below. And here is uh, the new uh, reminder, the new tweet uh, that is showing you the uh, reminder of uh, this uh, space call. And she wrote this. I'm going to be Blue's uh, upcoming space. Will you join too? And guys, you can also find uh, this uh, reminder on uh, uh, Big Blue's uh, 18 page, on Curtis page. And I have to say that uh, George Palagoras uh, didn't confirm that uh, he will attend uh, to this space call, but nevertheless, I think it is still worth your attention. On top of that, uh, let me show you that we have completely uh, opposite opinion in regards uh, to this uh, space call. Iron Ape, uh, one of uh, the community members, wrote this quite rude tweet. Let me quote it for you. Are we going to discuss George's incompetence as a CEO letting board members in one by one, which led to his ousting. Are we going to discuss uh, fiscal irresponsibility of forever development and discovery, while not executing sales verticals? Are we going to discuss exactly how wrecked the MMTLP community is and uh, George Palikor's uh, involvement, actions and inactions, 
which has led to shareholder tragedies. This pays uh, better bringing and uh, no softball back uh, rub questions uh, BS. So, as you can see, it is a completely opposite opinion in regards to this space call and definitely we have uh, to know all the opinions inside our community. And uh, I have uh, no words to uh, discuss it and I have uh, no intention uh, to make any conclusions in regards uh, to this uh, tweet. Let's move forward and uh, let's take a look uh, what will be the result of this upcoming space call. So, for now, let's back uh, to our case and let me show you uh, this tweet that was written just uh, yesterday by Sensei and he wrote this. MMTLP need to give ourselves uh, credit. We've proved 1. FINRA rule violation. And this is a very important part uh, because it uh, shows that FINRA has a so-called right to violate their own rules uh, without any consequences. 2. Share imbalance. And we also uh, find out uh, that uh, at least uh, one broker-dealer admitted that uh, they have a share imbalance and uh, it is a trade station. On top of that, uh, we have a lot of uh, potential evidence uh, of the same issue on other broker-dealers. But we don't have 100% uh, confirmation from these broker-dealers themselves. Next one. Number 3. Emails with FINRA and MMAT and SEC knew and did nothing. And uh, definitely we know that FINRA had a lot of interactions uh, with MMAT and SEC and uh, they are trying uh, to solve uh, the problem of uh, uh, short positions uh, in MMTLP but eventually they did nothing in order to do it. Next one, number four. DTCC misled investors. And definitely this uh, is the result uh, of uh, the corporate actions which was uh, issued uh, back in November of uh, 2022 and LMTLP didn't have any chance uh, to even uh, make any changes in these corporate actions. Next one, number five, brokers need millions to cover. And uh, we have no doubts about it uh, because of uh, their naked short positions and uh, a lack of shares on the free market. Because we don't have free market for MMTLP and next bridge hydrocarbon shares. That is why they have uh, huge, mind-boggling amounts of money in order to cover their positions. And the result of uh, this huge number of short positions, uh, the price uh, of share that uh, was uh, in the high thousands uh, of dollars per share. And we have uh, an evidence uh, from E-Trade, at least from one broker dealer, with a weird, uh, weird status of uh, these limit orders uh, too late to cancel. This means uh, these orders were executed, but none of the she MMTLP shareholders received uh, any money for these uh, sales. So uh, let me show you that uh, Sensei also added uh, this uh, video. And uh, let me quote to this. My video on how FINRA violated securities law with MMTLP. Remember from the emails, someone from the SEC was in the emails while the MMAT board did nothing. We have the facts and now need someone with authority to step in. We need Congress. And he refers to his own video that he published uh, back in October of last year. And it is... Uh, 18 and a half minutes long video and I want to quote to just uh, this uh, claim. Uh, he uh, claims FINRA posted metamaterial spin-out summary to FINRA's daily list, lacking proper settlement, thus breaking uh, federal securities law 10B-5 uh, and misleading investors. Next one. FINRA's operations team reviews corporate actions prior to releasing them publicly and failed to deem MTLP deficient and denied. Next one. MMTLP should have been deemed a deficient under FINRA Rule 6490-D3345 as it was under investigation for fraud by FINRA and SEC and had uncertainty and doubt in the clearance and settlement process. Next one. MMTLP should have never been posted to the public FINRA daily list. And the last one. By not denying, FINRA harmed investors by posting fraudulent information misleading brokers and OTC markets and created the uncertainty and doubt uh, which led to the rare U3 hull. And in this video you can uh, find uh, all the proofs uh, 
of uh, these uh, actions uh, that uh, uh, Sensei wrote in his claim. And definitely this video, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, it worth your attention and uh, definitely it worth to be added uh, to the list uh, of the violation of Finra's uh, rules. And it might be also very useful uh, for the Congress and for litigation that we have on the table and that uh, potentially might be filed in upcoming uh, weeks and months. And we know that uh, uh, potentially Mark Basil uh, is still preparing another lawsuit uh, against authorities uh, in behalf of MMTLP shareholders. But uh, unfortunately, for now, he keeps silence uh, in his uh, Twitter account uh, in regards to our case. So, time will tell and uh, we just have to patiently wait. Uh, another another quite important information was uh, published by Rare DD, another community member who is, I have to admit that, uh, who is much smarter than me because uh, he has uh, a lot, he's done a lot uh, in uh, the due diligence process and he found out a lot of information that shows that uh, authorities were wrong and they are the main wrongdoers in our case. So, let me quote to this. FINRA claims the AU3 halted MMTLP to protect uninformed investors that might have somehow been able to purchase MMTLP after December the 8th. Where was this protection on uh, December the 6th? The day prior, on uh, December the 5th, uh, FINRA suspected the issuers of fraud manipulation and began an investigation that included beginning the blue sheeting process for two securities. Since when does FINRA complete investigations in less than a day? And this is important, very important question, how they've done it. Next one. On December the 6th, FINRA posted uh, the first MMTLP corporate action to their daily list, which was a signal to investors that there wasn't uh, an investigation. Based on FINRA's uh, Rule 6490, a corporate action submission wouldn't uh, make it beyond FINRA's review process if it was subject to a fraud investigation. FINRA broke their own Rule 6490, misleading the investing public into believing there was no investigation. Investors proceeded uh, to hold and buy MGLP on December the 6th, December the 7th and December the 8th. But FINRA's halt protected hypothetical investors that might have been able to buy after December the 8th. Why would FINRA choose to protect some investors but not others? And this is a very important question. It seems uh, more likely that FINRA was protecting their member firms that would have been forced to buy in, force liquidated, beginning uh, December the 9th, when position close only trading was to begin taking place. So, very thorough and very uh, concise information in regards to the actions of FINRA that uh, it uh, took uh, back in the beginning of uh, December in regards to our case. And uh, we have a lot of questions, but we have uh, no answers at all. FINRA and SEC keep silence uh, in regards to our case and uh, they have the main line of defense uh, uh, that uh, they have pretty much uh, the uh, total immunity. And I still think uh, that uh, this uh, statement should be challenged uh, first of all in order to uh, have a free and fair markets. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and uh, 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MMTLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!
I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap, only God wants you